Uh, what is going on here? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Stylosa, and we've got loads of buffs and nerfs on the Overwatch Watch experimental card. Like, what the hell is going on here? Symmetra buff, Brig buff, we don't make a nerf, Batiste buff, McCree buff, May buff, Mega buff. Oh no. All right, let's get stuck into this. So, Batiste. His recovery time has been reduced from 0.45 to 0.38 seconds for primary fire, which means he's got less recovery time, so he basically fires faster effectively. Uh, damage reduced from 25 to 24, and secondary fire recovery rate increased from 0.8 to 0.9 seconds. Healing increased from 50 to 60, and the big one, the amplification matrix is now 9 meters wide instead of 5. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely mahoosive in Overwatch. That is, it's massive. I play soccer. Look at it. It's like a soccer goal. What the hell? That is actually crazy. Now, the dev comments on this are like, hey, it was so small before, you kind of just used it on your own, right? So we want to make it bigger so your whole team can use it. And I, I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. Now, what I like about this is Batiste kind of was falling off a little bit as a support. This might actually bring him back a little bit. His ultimate's going to be better. And his primary fire just feels way better. I think this goes... Uh, to, to sort of show that the changes Jeff wanted to make Overwatch more of an FPS game are kind of coming in because they're making all the FPS stuff kind of smoother. All right, let's take a look at Brig. So Brig gets buffed, uh, but it, it's not as massive as you, uh, like, as huge, massive. I'm trying to speak, but I can't, ladies and gentlemen. As you might have thought, uh, she's got an extra 25 health. <laughs> might help. Um, we'll get onto that in a second. All right, let's take a look at McCree and let me explain what the hell was going on at the start of that video or this video. <laughs> so his health, he's got 25 extra health. He's a bit more beefy. He's not fat, chunky McCree like back in the day when he got that super buff, uh, which actually never went live. It would have been hilariously funny if it did. But I like this because this means McCree gets a bit more survivability because he is the most easily diveable DPS in the entire game. All he can do is roll. Uh, and his roll got buffed recently, so he rolls a bit further. So he can roll. And he's, a, he's a bit bit more of a chunky lad. So that's good. But this is the key thing. Look at what's going on here. His recovery rate for reload, or rather his reload speed, has been increased. On the right-hand side is the McCree on the experimental card. Look how fast it reloads compared to on the left. That is the McCree on live. Now, this is using the awesome Overwatch green screen workshop, which lets me visualize stuff. It just looks awesome. This looks incredible, and I'm really looking forward to using this again in future. But you can see, this got desynced really fast just because the, well, the experimental reload is so quicker. This means McCree has got more effective damage because you can fire more bullets in a certain given time. It's, it's good. It's real good. Okay, May's wall has now got a 12-second cooldown instead of 13. 31 second? That's it's okay. It, it's a buff. I mean, there's, there's no two ways about that. It is a buff. So what about the actual May buff? Oh, Lord. So look at the ammo. Notice it's going up as I'm in Ice Block, or as this ability is called Cryo Freeze, which I always just call it Ice Block. I, mean, I don't know why they didn't just call it Ice Block. You now regenerate ammo in Ice Block. That is massively powerful because, you know, you know what May's like. If she goes in her ice block, she might probably be screwed, right? She's got no ammo. Uh-oh, it's going to be all over for her. Not anymore. She's always going to come out of ice block with ammo. Look at this. From zero ammo to 60 ammo, that's pretty mental. That's half her ammo back every time she goes into ice block. This is going to be big, right? I think this is going to be actually huge because this is going to make May super frustrating to play against because every time she goes into ice block, she will have ammo now. She's not coming out of it and going, uh-oh, I've got to run away and reload. Oh, no, no, no. This could be used defensively now. You could throw yourself into the enemy with ice block. It's like off a ledge into the enemy. Or I wish May would jump off a different kind of ledge, but whatever. She jumps off a ledge into your face. Imagine her flying off the shuttle in Gibraltar and then she like cryo freezes and and then she's got ammo if she had no ammo to begin with i think this is actually really good for may uh the wall cooldown as well it's only a second but that's gonna be fairly big for may as well so yeah if you're a may main probably good news yeah goodbye may okay symmetra buff again it's not as big as you might think uh she gets 25 extra shields mm. so it's not base health with symmetra it's base shields increased this makes it more survivable i mean Symmetra remains. Take what you can get at this point. I take this. I think this is fine. It's great. The next one, though, this is a nerf. Now, this is Widowmaker, and she has been reduced from 200 HP to 175. They've taken off 25 HP here. This is uh, this could be quite bad for Widow, because Widow is... Think about the implications here. Um, 
Damage boosted ashes shooting at widows. Damage boosted widows shooting at widows. Although, to be fair, damage boosted widow full shot in the body, I think, would kill you anyway uh, at 200 HP. But yeah, this is pretty big. This makes Widow super squishy. So she's going to really have to rely now on a grapple to relocate. Uh, I think this is needed because we are in danger of going into a horrific Widow meta. We're always kind of in danger of that. And Widow can be quite oppressive to play against. So what the hell have the developers been trying to do here? Well, let's take a look at it. So what are we trying to address? We've identified some weaknesses in, with Batiste and Maze kits, which we'd like to address. Batiste has been one of the lower performing support heroes recently. For May, we found that reductions to her maximum ammo have had a detrimental effect to her gameplay. We're also making some health adjustments to a number of heroes in increments of 25 rather than 50. Historically, we've always adjusted health and shield values in increments of 50 for ease of understanding how many hits a hero could take. After years of balance updates and fine tuning, we want to try getting a bit more granular with this approach. I think this is fair. Um, the 50 HP thing has always been kind of weird. Like, this is when we had Fat McCree when he just went straight up to 250 health. It was like, yeah, okay, 225 HP McCree. It's probably a bit more tangible and, and kind of might actually stick and might make the hero um, give him that little bit of a boost that he kind of needs. Same for Symmetra, same for Brig as well. Um, so, yeah, something must have changed at Blizzard where they've decided to go, you know what, the 50 thing, we're not going for it. Uh, which I guess they kind of just explained it in, in this post. So, yeah, but there's more because look at this. What are we testing? For Batiste, we're testing some changes that should allow Batiste to deal damage quicker and land more impactful healing grenades. We've also found that the current iteration of amplification matrix forces teams to group closely together. So we're increasing the width of the amplification matrix window for more accessible use. May will now reload 15 ammo per second when she uses cryo freeze. Since she spends more time out of ammo, Cryo Freeze just delayed the inevitable need to have to reload afterwards. She still won't be able to reload while frozen, but this should improve her gameplay flow. We're adjusting base health and shields for the heroes below in increments of 25 to test how more granular change, uh, how more granular changes to help in that gameplay. But we've been over the heroes that have been changed. Yeah, this is good. And uh, again, this is another change or another experimental card, which I'd imagine most of these will probably go live. Um, that is pushing the game in the right direction. Again, it is clearly an FPS update. Look at what's happened to McCree. Look at what has happened to um, Batiste. FPS in the sense of first-person shooter, not frames per second. Um, they're making them more snappy. They're making them feel like they have a better flow. They feel more sort of in tune, more, they've got a bit more rhythm, a bit more jazz. And that's what we like to see. So yeah, I want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comments below. An interesting one this is, I think the May change is the big takeaway from all of this. And the other changes are pretty nice. And probably even the Widow nerf as well. Hmm. It's going to be interesting to follow how this develops. All right, guys, I've been Stylosa. If you enjoyed the video, remember you can subscribe to the channel, like, click the bell and all that wonderful stuff. It really does help. But only do it if you enjoy the content. Don't just do it because you've been told by some rando YouTuber. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Toodaloo.